Okay guys, so once you finish your experiment, uh, you're gonna have your data and then you need to do some data analysis. Um, I made up some data so that way I can walk you through the data analysis for the first time. So this is my data, this is the initial mass of the candle, the final mass of the candle, uh, amount of water, initial temperature of the water, and then final temperature of the water. So then, when you go to the next page, it asks you to determine the temperature change of the water. So all you need to do is to look at the final temperature of the water, which is um, 32.1. So delta T equals 32.1 Celsius minus the initial temperature of the water, which is 24 point seven Celsius. Okay, and all I need to, and this is final minus initial. So I will get thirty two point one minus twenty four point seven, which gives me seven point four Celsius. So that would be the data that goes in here. Oh actually the calculation that goes in here. Alright so of course you're gonna have to do this for your own data um, so the next thing that asks is calculate the heat gained by the water using the mass of the water as being 50 grams and the specific heat which we'll talk about uh, specific heat later on but the number is given to you so all you need to do is plug in into the equation so Q equals MC delta T you're looking for Q your M is 50, your mass is 50 grams times, this was also given to you, so 4.18 joules per gram Celsius. And your delta T actually we calculated on a previous step, so it's 4 point Celsius. So all you need to do is uh, multiply those three numbers, and you get 50.0 times 4.18 times 7.4 and you get uh, heat equals 1546.6 and the unit is joules because grams cancel with grams Celsius cancel with Celsius and your final unit is joules so that would be the number that goes in here So the next uh, question asks you to determine how much of the mass of the candle was burned. So again, you do a final minus initial, so change in mass of the candle. Uh, let's see, we have to look at the final, which was 2.05. So 2.05 grams minus the initial, which is 2.55 grams. So putting that into the calculator, I get 2.05 minus 2.55, and I get the changing mass of the candle was 0 0.5 grams, negative 0 0.5 grams. This negative is just telling you that uh, mass was lost. Okay, so you do not need to carry the negative. It just says that it was lost because it was combusted. Um, then that number goes in here, 0 0.5 grams. And if you want, you can stick with the negative. All right, calculate the energy content per gram for your candle. So this next step, all you need to do is take this number, which is 1546.6 joules, and divide it by the candle. Okay, and let's keep the negative, actually. So all you do is you take your calculator, 1546.6 divided by 0.5, which is negative 3093.2, and that's joules per gram. So this number goes in here.
So the negative is telling that this is the energy that was released into the system. Okay. Joules per grams is that this is the amount of energy per gram of candle. Oops, sorry. This is the amount of energy per gram of candle. Okay. So then the next step that you're gonna do is um, take this number and write it on the board so we can all compare each other's um, results. And then there is some um, checking for understanding questions. Uh, the key thing, I don't know if I mentioned before, but every time you have a delta, it means it is final minus initial. It represents change. Okay. So final minus initial. Okay, so I hope this helps. All right, let me know if you have any questions.